Welcome. I'd like to welcome you to my North Castle. My name is Abendigo, and I have some friends here that we are going to tell you a story. It's a, a great story, and it's one that you could read in the Bible in Daniel chapter 3. Uh, but we're going to tell it to you right here. And I want to begin by introducing my friends. I have musician one. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. Musician two. Yes, thank you. Uh, and then I have two leaders. I have leader one. Excellent. And leader two. All right. And then we have King Nebuchadnezzar. King, it's an honor to have you with us today. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, two of my real good buddies. We have Shadrach. No, hey, Shadrach. And uh, Meshach. All right, okay. And, and like I said, I'm a Bendigo. We're three buddies. We hang out together a lot. And, uh, and we are going to tell you a story. So let's get going. Leaders of Babylon, gather around King Nap in the Desert. Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar has a special announcement. I have summoned you all here today because I have something very important to show you. Behold, this beautiful, magnificent, awe-inspiring statue I have made. Thank you. I am rather proud of it. But there's more. Tell them, musicians. King Pelican Feather. Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar has issued a decree that whenever you hear the special fancy schmancy music played like this, you are to bow before this gold statue. Anyone who refuses to bow will be thrown into a fiery furnace. Let's see just how obedient these people are. Musicians, play the fancy schmancy music. Your Highness, look, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego aren't bowing low. How would you know unless you weren't bowing low? Never mind that, Your Highness. They're disobeying you. Is this true? Yes, King Under the Weather. Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar, they didn't bow at all. Not even when they heard the fancy schmancy music? Not even then. They are not obedient to you like we are, your highness. Ooh, that burns my britches. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, don't you realize that if you fail to bow before my statue, you will be thrown into a fiery furnace? Then what god will rescue you from my power? We don't need to answer that question. If God was, if the god we serve is able to rescue us from the fiery furnace, then let our god do it. But even if our God doesn't, know this for certain, we will never serve your gods or worship your gold statue. Oh, no, you didn't. That does it. You had your chance. Turn the furnace up. How high, your highness? Twice the normal heat? Three times? No. Make it seven times hotter. Seven, seven times? times? Now that's hot. And you, take Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and march them right into the furnace. Uh, wait. Having a change of heart? No, it's just that, well, it's always Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. This, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that. Why am I always mentioned last? I mean, that's not even alphabetical order. Fine, take Abednego, Meshach, and Shadrach and throw them in the fiery furnace. Happy now? Yes, and no. Now, let this be a lesson to anyone who would dare to. Didn't we throw three people into the fiery furnace? Yes, Your Highness. Look, I, I see four. 
just walking around the furnace like it's a day at the beach. And the fourth looks like one of the gods. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Oh, man. I'm out of that furnace right now. Are you okay? Yes, your highness. Never felt better. They don't even smell like the fire. You know how when you're toasting marshmallows for s'mores and... S'mores haven't been invented yet. Oh. Uh, may the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. Their god sent a messenger to rescue them. They stood true for their god, even if it meant risking their own lives. No more bowing to statues. From now on, everyone will treat their god with respect. Your Highness, can we still play the fancy schmancy music? Please, we purchased it a lot. Sure. Yay! Wow, that is fancy schmancy. Well, thank you for listening to the story. Uh, stay tuned, there's more to come.